Pretty Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. We hope you enjoyed our first mix tip video where we phase aligned everything. Now we're going to use subtractive EQing and filtering to make a little room and clean things up. And we're going to feature the FabFilter Pro-Q 2. Hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe and smash that notification bell so we can let you know when we have more content like this coming. We do appreciate your support. There is frequencies below the range of hearing and above the range of hearing that will clutter up your mix. It may be digital noise, it may be rumbles, high-end stuff. So I always go through the mix, solo each thing, sweep that, and clean that up. But there might be one or two offensive frequencies that I will find and scoop out. So here we go, let's dig in. So I'm gonna start by putting all these Fab Filter Pro Q2s on everything. So let's go to our drum overheads and we'll check that out. So here's our drum overheads and here's the Fab Filter. So we're going to solo that and we're gonna hit this solo button and we're gonna move this up and down to sweep to see what we're missing. So you see when I got right there, that's when I started to hear this affecting the actual sound of the kick. So I'm gonna roll it back. Now we're gonna do the same way up here. Cool, so we got rid of anything we don't need. We may wanna do more as things interact, but let's start with that. So usually what I do is I will boost the gain, make the cue pretty narrow, and then sweep, find what I don't like, and pull it out. Let's go to the rooms. A little better, usually three, four hundred, seven hundred. You might have stuff there. Hi hats are right next to it. Okay, let's go to some kick drum. Kick number two. Now we have a kick sample. Let's try that. So I have my default settings set up so these are already ready to go in there. And another kick sample with the room.
Now we have an 808 kick. So that one didn't really need anything. Now we'll go to snare one. Now, you know, usually you're going to boost 200 hertz or something in a snare, but we're going to do that with another EQ after this in episode three or tip number three. So let's go to the next snare. Another sample. More, more snares. Got a loop little section of the Tom Toms. with the pro Q on and off. So here is it on first, and we'll do a chorus so you can hear the whole thing in context. And let's move on to the loops. And there's another loop that comes in as well.
So I keep kind of readjusting because it does lend a little little bit of clarity to things and it makes me want to keep rebalancing. Don't be afraid to just keep working and rebalancing as you go. So now we have another loop that pops in here with a couple of other elements. Let's solo that and do that one. Okay, so I don't really want to clean anything up in the mid-range there. Let's go to the claps. And now the gun sample, first one. So you can hear that sub thing is definitely going to mess with your bass and your low end, so... Then we have another gun sample. All right, so here's the whole bit. Cool, let's do the bass. We never really got in there. So the idea is to pull it back, and when you start to hear something, then open it back up again. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's not that complicated. Okay, so we're going to play from that chorus. I'm going to turn off the EQ and then turn it on. Off. In. Off. And back on. So let's see what's going on over here in the uh, 
world of guitars. All right, cool. So, so let's try putting the fab filter on both of those and see what happens. Here's the guitars. That's the bulk of those guitars in the chorus. So let's jump over to some things in the pre-chorus. We have a clean guitar here. Let's see what that's doing. And it looks like it was printed in stereo, so there's probably some effects already happening with this. So these high bands and low bands make it cut up even more in context, but this is the first step. I'm gonna spend like 15 seconds on it and then move on. Cool. Pre-chorus, we have a couple of guitars happening here. Let's put those all on an output. And let's give them all a fab filter. Now let's check out the first one. It's 
So you can hear right here is a ton of rumble. So there's a spot right before it breaks here that actually you don't hear notes, it's just rumble. So that's what we're going for. Here's uh, some sweep. So I wanted to have sort of an ob obnoxious quality that it cuts, but there was one part where there was like a little weird wave with those notes. I got that out. So we'll hear it with and without it. It's a little darker, but I think that'll be okay. I'm gonna take a shot at copying this over to this one and see what they both sound like. So the idea of those guitars is that the first one's like creating some tension before the chorus, and the other one's supposed to hit the downbeats, so let's balance against the track. Alright, cool. So let's do a verse, pre-chorus, chorus. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, second video in which we use the subtractive EQ of the FabFilter Pro Q2 to filter out and take out annoying frequencies. So I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. If you'd like, send me some comments. I'd be glad to answer them. Hit the like button, hit the notification button so we can let you know when there's more content. And we really appreciate your support. Happy mixing.